A veteran's car is stolen in Corktown. It's not the car he's desperate to get back. Rather, it's the bagpipes that were inside when it was taken. Jason Colthorpe live in Corktown tonight with more. Jason. Yeah, we're going to explain why those bagpipes are so important, Devin. But the car disappeared from the lot right behind me here on Michigan Avenue. Uh, that was Saturday night. Now, the victim here is retired out of the Air Force after a 25 year career as a lieutenant colonel. He's now five years into a sergeant's job with the St. Clair County Sheriff's Department Marine Division. And now he is relying on someone's honor out there to get these back. I didn't start piping until I was 50. I'm now 63. Brian yeah. Leslie loves playing the bagpipes as part of the Metro Detroit Police and Fire Pipe and Drums. Our mission is to really kind of support those brothers and sisters that wear the blue. And they're often heard playing at funerals for officers, firefighters, and those who serve. It's one of those things we kind of do out of duty. You start firing up the bagpipes, that's an instrument that goes right to your soul. But now, they're just gone. Our car was parked in the lot out there in the middle. The bagpipes were in Leslie's 2007 gray trailblazer that was stolen from a Corktown parking lot Saturday night. 50 plus year old from Edinburgh, Scotland. Go figure. But again, it's like an old friend. He'd happily trade the car for the pipes, especially before a month of St. Patrick's Day events gets here. The car itself, if that can help somebody else, I'm all for it. If we can get the bagpipes back in our hands, we can do more for some of the other fallen police officers, fire department, and soldiers, and maybe bring a few more smiles to some of the other people in Detroit. Certainly could. He'd like to be playing those bagpipes right here in Corktown for some of those parades. Uh, now, anyone who has any knowledge of this can leave an anonymous tip at Crime Stoppers 1 800 Speak Up. And Leslie's shrewd enough to know the Trailblazer's probably not coming back. But anybody who's holding on to this and is watching this, you can bring these back to any Detroit police precinct, no questions asked. We're in Corktown tonight. Jason Coulthorpe, Local 4. Let's hope somebody does. All right, Jason.